The next thing we're going to talk about is elongation. So here I am on the earth and I'm looking at the moon and then I'm looking out in the distance towards the sun. If I take these two pieces of a straight edge and I hold them, they represent my distance on the earth. I could actually look at an angle. I'm looking straight at the sun and then I look at an angle over here. I would be looking at an angle to the crescent moon and then an angle to my quarter moon, to my gibbous moon, and then finally to my full moon. Or I could look straight at the sun and then I could look at an angle down to the crescent moon. I could go from an angle down to the quarter moon and back an angle over. So we have a system for this. If I am going, if I am looking counterclockwise, meaning I'm on the earth, I'm going to look to my waxing crescent at an angle of 45 degrees. I'm going to look at my first quarter, waxing quarter, at an angle of 90 degrees. And then finally, I'm going to look at my, um, my waxing gibbous at an angle of 125 degrees. When I look at those, I'm going to mark them as Eastern elongation. So Eastern elongation is simply telling me I have over here, here is my 45 degrees east, here is my 90 degrees east, and I'm sorry, I think I said 125, I'm actually not sure what I said, but it should be 135, 135 degrees east. So I would just say that I'm looking counterclockwise in order to find the moon in its position to the sun. I could do the same thing because I could look up clockwise. This would be 45 degrees west. This would be 90 degrees west. And finally, this would be 135 degrees west. The full moon is 180 degrees, neither east nor west. The new moon is zero degrees. So I'll just put those down. So that's the amount of degrees if I was trying to give you direction that you would actually have to look into the sky to see the moon. That's what we call elongation.